everyone and welcome to the Excel challenge. In this video we will be resolving a challenge from one of our subscribers, Royal7842. Royal would like to know how to calculate a total value where each weekday is assigned a value. In the challenge that Royal sent us, each weekday has a value of 1 except Friday, which has a value of half. That said, Wednesday August the 2nd has a value of 1, Thursday August the 3rd has a value of 1 for a total of 2, Friday, August the 4th has a value of half for a total of two and a half, and so on. Later, Royal elaborated on the challenge and asked to have Tuesday, August the 1st with a value of 1, Wednesday, August the 2nd with a value of 1 for a total of 2, Thursday, August the 3rd with a value of 1 for a total of 3, Friday, August the 4th with a value of half for a total of 3.5, Saturday, August the 5th with a value of 1 for a total of 4.5, and, and by Friday of next week, being Friday, August the 11th, we should have a total of 10. Finally, Royal asked to continue this way until the end of the month. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a table where we can assign values to each of the weekdays. Over here, I'm going to put the weekday number, the weekday name, and over here, the assigned value. In a few minutes, I'm going to be using the weekday formula, which by default considers Sunday as number one. So weekday number is one, weekday name is Sunday, weekday two is Monday, and so on. I'm just going to fill down. I have the seven days of the week. For example, Royal wants that each weekday has a value of one, except Friday which has to be half. At this point, I have my values table ready. The next thing I'm going to do is create a table where I can assign values to each of the dates. So, so I'm going to call this column date, weekday number, weekday name, its corresponding value, and then I'm going to add an accumulative. Let's use for this example August 1st, August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Let's use the weekday formula to pull the weekday number. Over here I'm going to say equals weekday. What's the weekday for August 1st? Close parenthesis, enter. August 1st is weekday number 3, that means it's a Tuesday. If I drag this formula down, I get four, five, six for each of these days. The weekday name we're going to pull from a previous table. I'm going to use VLOOKUP. I'm going to be looking up this value in this table. I'm going to be pulling column number two and I want an exact match. Close parenthesis, enter. So August 1st is weekday number three and it's a Tuesday. If I drag this down, August the 2nd is a Wednesday and so on. I'm going to be using the exact same formula to pull the value. So I'm just going to copy here and instead of pulling the second column, I'm going to pull the third column. So replace these two with a three, enter. Tuesday has a value of one, Wednesday has a value of one, Thursday one, Friday 0.5. Now for the accumulative, I'm going to say August 1st, which is my first day in my table, is this value. For August 2nd, I'm going to sum this value plus the previous one. By August 2nd, I have number 2. August 3rd, I have 3. August 4th, I have 3.5, just like Royal wanted. Now Royal wanted to go down to August 11th. And by then, we should have a cumulative of 10. Yep, this is working. I'm going to add a last table here. Over here, I'm going to put the total days and the total value. For total days, I'm going to count how many days I can see in column H. Enter. I can see a total of 11 days from August 1st to August 11. Now for total value, I'm just going to sum 
the total value is 10, considering that we have two Fridays, which are 0.5 each. Finally, I can drag this down for as long as I want. I'm going to go down to August 31st, just like Royal wanted. This is the whole month. My accumulative shows 29. If I go here on the top, 31 days with a total value of 29. That tells us that there are four Fridays at 0 0.5. I'm not really sure what application Royal is looking for. I was thinking you can use this, let's say, to calculate a monthly income or something like that. Let's say on Sunday I make zero dollars, on Monday I make zero dollars, on Tuesday I make 120, Wednesdays I make 120, Thursdays 120, Fridays I make 200, and Saturdays I make 200 dollars. That being said, in a month of 31 days, I will be making $3,400. This table is very flexible. You can change the values. You can change the formula as of your preference. And that's it for today. I hope you find this concept helpful. And this is something you can use in your daily routine so you can get more with less effort. Royal, I believe I resolved your challenge and I thank you for sending it. Thank you all for watching. And remember, if you have an Excel challenge that you need help with, whether it is at work, at home, or at school, please write it in the comments below. I try to resolve common Excel challenges from our viewers and subscribers. Thanks again for watching, and I'll leave you here some of our previous videos.